This is the SB5101, and I have seen people use the JTAG to break the modem, and they didn't realize how they can break it and how can you de-break it. Uh, I'm talking about the break to the point you are not able to program anymore, even with the JTAG. So this is the uh, SB5101 with the uh, Ulink NT connected. Uh, I'm going to power on and we can use the software to show you how to break the modem and how to debreak it. This modem currently is a fully working modem and we can detect the flash and we can also go into trap on like so and still be able to do the verify or so. However, a lot of people make mistakes is they program the firmware in here. This example is Hexaware. The Hexaware is supposed to go to the image zero and image one. So you, have, you should program the image zero and image one uh, separately. And that's the way to go. But some people make a mistake and they load to the boot here. And I'm going to show you how to recover this modem if you accidentally program this modem this way. Okay, so I'm going to program like so. Uh, let's go here, program entire flash. We know that we do not have a proper boot. We actually, instead of we put the firmware on the boot, and if we were unplug it now and plug back in, this modem is bricked to the point we we will no longer be able to do proper like program. You know, you cannot go to the trap on, and actually the data is corrupted. You, if you try to program it, it will hang. Let's say I want to, let's say okay, I forgot it. Let's say go here. I want to program the, the boot properly. Can we do it? And let's see if we have the pr boot properly. No, you are not. Okay, let's read the boot. See if boot and data is, is completely wrong. So what can we do with it? So let's you see now go to the chap on and it's bad. So let's say power off and power on and hit detect. So instead of using this button to program, we should first make sure you have the proper backup, which is here. And now we should use erase and 9FC0000 and the size 200000. So this way we're using the, the slow mode to erase the flash first, and then we program the uh, entire flash using the slow mode. This way we guarantee to program it properly without using the targeted RAM, which we have to have a proper boot for, to begin with. So now we call S uh, program 9FC0000 and 200000. The slow mode is about you know 20 kilobytes per second and in the fast mode, we can gain about 130 kilobytes per second. But I think it doesn't really matter too much since the size is only two meg and you know, it take a minute or two, it does not really matter to you. Okay, program finished. 
uh, instead of immediately verify it because of the current bad state and verify using the fast clock may fail. So what I'm going to do is I'm unplug the, the modem and plug back in and let's detect and see if we can go to chop on mode, let's say. Yes, we can. And let's verify the entire flash using the trap on mode. Yes, the modem now is fully recovered. So the key here is we're using the erase command and this S program command to fix a dead modem.